Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, we'll briefly talk about circuit symbols and conventions, and then we'll explain example 6.2 solve in the book. Now, just to recap, that in electrical engineering, it is common to use capital letters for DC values. So like DC current, we return capital I and the lowercase letters for AC value. So AC current is written as a small i or lowercase i. So the DC quantities are denoted by uppercase as we have mentioned. So like voltage across uh, VBE terminal or between base and emitter if it is for DC, then it will be written as capital V, capital B and capital E, VBE. But if the signal is AC, then the same um, parameter will now be written in the, uh, small letters or lowercase letters. So small V, small B and small E. Now there are circumstances where both DC and AC signals are applied or DC is applied for biasing and AC is the signal applied for amplification. So in that case, the total quantities combining the both small signals or AC signals and DC quantities, uh, it will be written as small v but capital B E. And this is called the instantaneous value also, which has the combination of both DC and AC. So both DC and AC combined will now be represented as small v, but capital B and E. So this convention you have to keep in mind. Now, this is symbol I'm sure you are familiar this is for the NPN transistor and this symbol is for the PNP transistor and one way to remember which one is what is uh, some people have made this it is called not pointing in so N P N so if it is pointing out that is not pointing in that means it is an NPN transistor and the other one of course will be PNP transistor now the transistors uh, are operated um, in three modes or it could have three modes actually. One is the cutoff mode, one is the active mode and the one is the saturation mode. So I'll just talk about active mode. Active mode is defined when the base emitter is positive biased, so VBE. This positive terminal is connected to P and negative is connected to uh, N. So this is forward bias but the base collector junction is reversed bias. So collector is N but it is connected with P positive and here the base is P it is connected with N. So this is reverse bias and this is forward bias. So in this case uh, the circuit will be called to be uh, in active mode. And now a couple of uh, voltage terms this we are giving a supply through the voltage divider so this voltage will be called VBB and it is also called VB because it is at the base so B, this VB and VBB is same in this case however it may not be always so the voltage near the transistor terminal or near the base terminal will be called capital VB voltage at the collector terminal will be called capital VC and the voltage at the emitter terminal will be called capital VE. Now in addition to these three there are other voltages. The voltage between base and emitter this is called VBE. Similarly voltage between collector and emitter terminal is called voltage VCE. The power supply is called VCC. So these three things, three voltages, these uh, base collector and emitter and between the terminals, 
these voltages. This there is a voltage here also, which is called V uh, CB, but this is generally not very frequently used. Okay, now uh, we can write couple of equations. Let's see if we are in this in this loop, what all equations we can write. If we follow the KVL, we start from here. Now this is VBB here, positive here and negative here. So if we start from here, so negative VBB, and then we come here, so positive VBE, positive VBE, and then we come at this point of VE. So positive VE is equal to zero. So this is one equation we can write with the help of KVL. Now, mind you, this is positive v, uh, VE positive at the top and negative at the bottom. So, we can also uh, write another equation from this terminal. If we, if we, let's go from here, if we're going from here, then we get minus, minus IE into RE. So, we write minus IE into RE. And this other loop is VE, so plus VE is equal to 0. That means from here we can say that VE is equal to IERE. You can also directly see that VE is actually the current is flowing in this direction, so IERE. Now let's take the second loop here. Actually this VCC can also be drawn like this, the battery is connected positive top so this we are calling the second loop and let's see what all equations we can have in this second loop the first one is if we take in terms of ve so minus ve minus ve then we come to this so it is again minus vc minus here and plus here so minus vce and then this current touching here makes it positive this is a negative so negative ICRC, ICRC, and then positive VCC, positive VCC equal to zero. So this is one equation. We can also take this whole as VCC. So VCC positive here, negative here. So we can write negative VCC, negative VCC, and then negative ICRC and plus VCC. So this is another way of writing and from here actually we uh, get an important uh, relation that is VC is VCC minus ICRC from here and the other two are also used VCE is VC minus VE so VCE here is VC minus VE and similarly VE this VE and uh, this VE is VBB or VB minus VBE. So these are some of the relations. So if you know how to write, then it will be easy for you to follow. And it is not a must that these equations will be same because depending on the circuit, the equations can, can change. Okay. These are some of the uh, uh, relations that are used in the BJT current voltage relationship. Uh, IB, as we have learned already, is IC over beta, and IC is IS e raised to the power VBE over VT, which is shown here. IC is IS e raised to the power VBE over VT. So the, the most important ones I have written here, this is for the I, IC, you have to always remember this. This IS is a constant of the transistor, so this will be fixed. And the other one is IB, the base current, is equal to IC over I, uh, beta. Then some of the other relations we have, I hope you have learned earlier, with, uh, like beta is alpha divided by 1 minus alpha, or alpha is beta divided by beta plus 1. VT is the thermal voltage, which is equal to approximately 25 millivolt at room temperature. So with this background, now we'll solve one example. Okay, now we'll uh, solve this example uh, 6.2. It is already solved in the book, but we'll just try to clarify a couple of points which will make solving uh, easier for you. 
Now, this is the circuit given. We have a collector resistance and we have an emitter resistance, a positive 15 volt and negative 15 volt at the emitter. Beta of the transistor is 100 and VBE, the voltage between base and emitter, is 0 0.7 volt when the current IC is 1 milliampere. So this is given. We need to design a circuit so that a current of 2 milliampere flows through the collector and a voltage of plus 5 volt appears at the collector. So 2 milliampere should flow and 5 volt should appear here. Okay, so this is how uh, we can put it that this is when the collector current is 2 milliampere, VCC uh, should be plus 5 volt. Now for designing, let's see what all we need. Okay, so these are five para parameters that we need for designing of this. That is the RC, the collector resistance, VBE new, this one for 2 milliampere, VE the voltage across emitter, IE the current through the emitter, and RE the resistance of the emitter. As we mentioned that we'll be using the formulas that we discussed. So this is the formula for VC. This voltage VC is VCC minus drop here. So VCC minus RC uh, IC. And from here, because we need to find RC, so we take this time uh, on the left and the remaining VCC minus VC comes on the right. VCC is 15 volt given and the desired VC is 5, so we write it 5 here. So drop across the uh, collector resistance is 10 volt RC IC. Now we know IC is 2 milliampere, so from here we can say that RC is 10 volt divided by IC. So 10 volt divided by IC 2 milliampere, that means RC is 5 kilo ohms. So one term we have found out. Now we need to find these four parameters VBE, VE, IE and RE. And this is the circuit that we had. So to find VBE we have to take help of this equation. IC is IS e raised to the power VBE over VT. Now, IS is a constant, it's called saturation current, it is called constant for a particular transistor. VT, we know, is the thermal voltage. So, from here, if we can find IS, we can utilize this uh, to find VBE. Let's see how to do. So, we have divided, brought IS on this side. So, this has become E raised to the power VBE, VT. And for IS, this will come down over IC. So this is the equation for IS. And now let's plug in the values that we have. We have VBE 0 0.7. We have IC 1 milliampere. And uh, we know VT to be 25. So 1 milliampere, 0 0.7, 25 millivolt, e raised to the power. and this portion solved as 1.446, 10 raised to the power 12. So IS is 69.1, 10 raised to the power minus 17. So this IS will now use to get another equation where IC is 2 ampere as desired in the circuit and to find out VBE. Okay. So from here actually we, we get this equation. Uh, VBE is equal to VT log of IC over IS. From here, IC over IS, if we take log on both sides, it will be log IC over IS and then VB, VT, we take on the other side, so it multiplies. So this is what is happening here. And now VT is 25 millivolt. I in this case is now 2 milliampere. IS we have found this to be same. 
So if you plug that in, then we get uh, the new VBE, which is 0.717 volt. So this is how uh, we have found VBE. In the book, he has used another technique that you can also follow. The next is VE, this voltage. So we have found this one, and now we have to find this one. So since this term, this terminal is uh, grounded, so we'll just have VE, the same value of VBE, but now sign will be uh, opposite. So since the base is at zero volt or grounded, this one, so the emitter voltage should be negative. So VE is negative of 0 0.71 volt, negative of this voltage. And now IE, if you take this way, I is flowing, that means this is at higher potential and this is at lower potential, we are assuming. And so the uh, IE we can find from this relation of IC over alpha. IC we already know is 2 milliampere's alpha, we need to calculate but we know beta, so we can calculate alpha from this formula. Alpha is equal to beta over beta plus 1. So 100 divided by 100 plus 1 is 0 0.99. We plug in this value here. So IE is IC2 uh, milliampere divided by 0 0.99, which is alpha. Uh, IE becomes 2.02 .02 milliampere. And now, you can also have used this method that uh, first of all find beta and then uh, we can use this relation that I is sum of I, B, I beta and I C. So the same, uh, uh, same result you can get if you follow this technique. And finally R E, this resistance we have to find, we know the current i.e. 2.02, .02. we know these two voltages. So for R.E. we can write V.E. minus this voltage, minus 15, divided by I.E. And so I.E. comes to be 7.07 .07 kilo ohms. So this is how uh, we can solve um, uh, this type of problem. I hope uh, this gives you an idea. Thank you.